he needs to realize that this is a commitment. It's not a hairstyle, it's a lifestyle. These are spouts of energy that are going to change you indefinitely. When you have dreadlocks, it really is a huge different experience because there are a lot of things that come in, feedback. Mm -hmm. People make judgments, but can you surpass it? It makes you stronger, I believe. I went through my hardest times like that. Hell yeah. And I think that that's something that you have to, to realize. This is no longer... This is no longer... This is a commitment to this, to this lifestyle. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Good. <sighs> Fuck yeah! Yes. Here, uh, we're me and Jess are with it um, to give dreadlocks to Mr. Maxwell Wild. So um, yeah, what's up, dude? Kind of <laughs> what's going but, uh, on? So yeah, he's, he's got kind of short hair, but like it's gonna you know it's an awesome start to do when your hair is about this length because yeah. then they're you know set in from when they were small sort of thing. So he's got to be patient. Yeah, yeah very for patient. Sure. It's but, definitely um, a test. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, we've just sectioned his head off into uh, like one inch, just slightly over one inch some of them because mm -hmm. you want thicker dreadlocks than likes of mine yeah so yeah slightly over one inch sections um you can see there's just you know there's looking awesome we could just leave it like that actually i think you look fine i know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's that rapper's name that uh the uh, little that did the, the gangster's paradise oh Coolio? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Cool hair. You got the Coolio. Totally Coolio. I'm going to totally cool <laughs> try to pull that. I love Coolio. All right, He's so awesome. We're going to give some dreads. Mm -hmm. so we're going to work on that. So what you do, you get a section here that you're looking for. Uh, the first one where you want to start. And uh, Jess is just taking out the elastic here at the moment. And then she's got the, the section of hair and she has a little comb. And she's just going to take the air in one hand and then stick the comb in at the bottom and then just pull up. So you're, this is called back combing. You're just back combing the hair um, back towards the scalp. And this is what makes it you know, start to knot up and tighten up. So you can see there it's starting to bunch up. At the start, when you first do it, you know, when you do your first back comb, it looks ridiculous because it's just like a puffy little ball of hair pretty much, you know. Um, yeah, well, you just keep doing it. You just keep tightening it. Keep going, like pull out, and then keep going back in with the comb, and pushing it towards the scalp. How you doing down there, bud? Oh, I'm hanging in there. <laughs> All right, good. I love it. You heartless bitch. This <laughs> <laughs> pain's just letting me know you're alive, man. The yacht life. I know. This is life. <laughs> Go! 
God damn. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, well. Let's go. Oh, you don't slow down. Oh, my God. Damn it. I fucked up. So worth it when it's done, though. Uh, so, I don't even care. <laughs> this is sort of like a horse. This would be like one of the torture treatments in Saw movies. I know. <laughs> oh my god, it's like we're killing you or something. <laughs> You're not killing me. This is the most alive I felt in months. <laughs> So evil. Oh god. Hey buddy, how you feeling? Like a new me, but it fucking hurt. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hurt. Worth it though, man. They'll, totally worth they'll it. Settle, it they're sick. a bit crazy at the moment, they're a bit all over the place, but they'll settle down in like in you know a week or two and then Yeah, I'm definitely ready, man. Awesome. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Well done, right now. buddy. Right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>